What's up fam and welcome back to my channel, the best place to help you get started building your business and brand online. It has been a hot minute since I've actually come on and talked about some of the new changes and updates that Facebook has put out and so I thought, hey, that's what we're going to talk about today. There's been some changes when it comes to just the mobile menu. And yes, I do use an iOS. It may look a little different if you are an Android user. There has been changes to the Messenger app, Mobile Messenger. There's been a few changes to stories that I want to talk about, as well as pages. Because what's super cool now, if you have a Facebook business page, is the fact that there are some different ways that creators can now monetize their content. So if you are pumped to see what these changes are. Some of them you may have already noticed and some of them you may be like, oh cool, I did not know that. Hit that thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, hit the bell, and let's hop in. couple of things that I want you to be aware of. Number one, I am actually going to put timestamps down below. So if you just want to know, okay, what's the changes that have taken place in the Facebook menu, that's what we're going to talk about first. But if you don't want to hear that, you want to jump straight to stories, there'll be a timestamp below. Number two, I also link a lot of other like free resources, whether it be downloads or other videos in the description as well. So be sure to check those out. Now that that is out of the way, I am going to go ahead and you can see, you should be able to see my phone screen. So the first thing, the first change that I want to make mention of, which I'm sure, again, I'm iOS. It may look a little different if you're on Android, but you've probably already noticed this change. And that is in the lower right hand corner right down here. I'm just on, you know, I've pulled up Facebook. If you click on the little hamburger menu right here, this has gotten a whole new look. And much like the shortcuts down on the bottom here, where this right here is the home screen, takes you to the news feed. This is your profile. This is a shortcut to Facebook groups, pages if you are, if you have one or are an admin of one, and then your notifications, of course. So these, if I scroll down, these are other just shortcuts. And then down here at the bottom, you can click on see more right here. You can toggle that. There's just lots of stuff in here. Most of it, honestly, I don't even really use. And then also if you click on help and support, there's that as well. And then this is where your settings are. So just a revamp of the main menu over on Facebook, that is the first change. So now what I want to do is hop over into Messenger and kind of share some of the changes that have taken place there. So the very first thing is that I know Mark Zuckerberg did make an announcement a while back about some of the changes taking place. And the first is just that Messenger should be running a lot quicker and faster. Now, the next thing, they have removed a couple of things from Messenger. The first being that they have removed reminders. And I didn't even actually notice this simply because I don't really use reminders in Facebook. And let me know below down uh, in the comments if you did use reminders. But of course, in order to make things speed up and go a little faster, obviously they have to take certain things away, right? So that is the first thing is just remove Removing reminders. The second thing that was removed from Facebook Messenger was the Discover tab, okay? And the Discover tab, again, I didn't really use it a ton, but it was more for um, bots and Facebook business pages to like discover new Facebook business pages and of course for bots. They've also totally simplified it down here. There's basically now two different little tabs. Obviously, this right here under Chats as you can see, I'm kind of circling around it. These are just your Facebook messages in general. And then if you go to people right here, um, this is where it's going to show up stories. So stories are a lot more prominent when it comes to Facebook Messenger. And then also right over here, if you click on active, this is going to show the people that you're connected with, um, the ones who are active right now. Another thing that they've changed when it comes to Facebook Messenger is where your other messages are going, so to speak, your your other folder. And these are people who have messaged you that you are not actually connected with on Facebook. Those messages go into message requests, so to speak. Used to be called like the other folder, but now it's message requests. So all you do to access those messages is in the upper left-hand corner, if you just click on your uh, picture, 
this is going to pull up this of course is where you're going to uh, turn on and off dark mode if you want that on and then they this right here says message request okay so if you click right there that's going to be all the people who have sent you a message that you are not connected to now if you open one up and you accept the message then you know they are put into so to speak like your your messenger connections, okay? So if I just go back, and of course you can see on this main screen right here, this is where you can turn on your notification sound, message settings, and all of that if I just scroll down. Now, one thing I do want to make mention of as well when it comes to Facebook Messenger and the people who have sent you messages and message requests, if you are connected to them via Facebook Messenger, you can actually see them if they have viewed any of your Facebook stories. So that's kind of cool as well. With that being said, we are now gonna move on and talk about a few of the updates that have taken place when it comes to Facebook stories. The first change, which I actually saw on someone else's stories, but I have yet to actually receive the update. And if you have a Facebook business page or you're an admin of one along with your profile, up here in the upper left hand corner where right now you see like my face and where I can add to my stories, it's going to show both of those to where I you can access like your add to your personal story or your Facebook business page story. Again, I'm not seeing this right now, but I have seen this update. I know it's an update that's come along and I've seen it on um, someone else's profile. The second update on stories is, and this is something you've probably noticed, but I love how like Facebook, they're just making stories way more prominent and putting them like in your face telling you like, hey, use stories. But if you click right here where it says see all stories, this is basically a news feed of nothing but stories that you can scroll through and it's like a separate little news feed of just stories, which I think is pretty cool. I definitely am one to watch stories myself and I'm curious if you're actually posting two stories right now. And if you are, I will link below a playlist or like several different videos. A while back I did a series all around like Facebook stories and it's definitely one that you're gonna want to check out a lot or several of those videos if you use stories for business. Third change to Facebook stories, if you go to your profile and this is super, super cool. Um, I think I've talked about this change but there's been another change that I'm about to tell you about. So if you go to your profile and this is a post that I did on my personal profile right here where it says share. If you click on share, it will toggle up and you have the option now to share to either your personal profile story or you can share this to a pages story, which is neat. And I've already shared this post today is actually my one of my older brother's 39th birthday and unfortunately he is no longer with us and so I just did a little post uh, today and share it to my regular story. But if I click on share to pages story, I can take this post and these are the different pages that I manage and I could click, okay, I want to share this to Sherry Brown Coaching, which is my business page. I can bring this up and then I can just type on here, happy birthday, miss you and love you. And then I could just move this up and then just click share the story right here. And now it's over on my business page story. So this is something that you can do and it makes it a lot easier without actually before having to go to your business page and then click and upload. So I love how now you're able to share to both personal and business page. So the third category that we're gonna talk about when it comes to Facebook updates and changes is regarding business pages. So before I hop on my desktop and pull up pages from there, because there's a few things that I wanna show you new, I do wanna give you just a quick insight into one little feature. So if I go over to my business page and I go right here where it says inbox, you can now easily start booking appointments right through Messenger, which is super cool. So. I had my friend Jelena send me a message, so if I just click on her name, you can see right down here, right where it says write a message to the left of it, there's a little plus sign that you can click on and you can book an appointment right through Messenger. So if you do any type of free consultations or you want to book any type of appointment with uh, someone in Messenger, you can easily do this now with just the click of a button. So if I wanted to say right here, I wanted to book an appointment with her, you can even, um, you know, it says message for customer optional. So I can create right now an appointment. So I can just say create an appointment and it's booked. And as you can see, 
right here. You can view it in your calendar. You can view details. And you could also add notes, like you could do the drop down, and I did not do that a second ago. And you could pick like what service it is. But again, this is a new update. Now what I wanna do is I want to hop off my phone and we're gonna pull up Facebook on my actual computer. The second update to Pages you may or may not have already noticed is the Creator Studio. Now, this was launched a little while ago, but I am obsessing over the new, like the amount of analytics and new things that are being added to the Creator Studio for pages. And that's the one thing that I absolutely love, like about YouTube, whenever you upload videos, they provide such detailed analytics, letting you know the retention, how long people are staying on your videos, where those people are coming from, the age, like all kinds of analytics. But this was pretty much lacking for the longest time on Facebook and you know I switched over even though I did switch over in 2019 and really started putting all of my pillar content my videos over on YouTube and I haven't really been using Facebook business pages as much as I used to simply because of that switch if you want to know why I link to a video below talking about it you can always check that out later and I although I still use my business page I just don't use it as much as I used to I still run Facebook ads and I still post promoting content and I'll still put up polls and things like that. But I wish that this would have come a little sooner, but I think it's really cool. So all you do to access the Creator Studio and all of the cool analytics that you now have is that once you are on your business page, you're gonna have these little tabs up top. So if you just click on Creator Studio, there's so many new things in here and I'm not gonna go into a lot of depth about Creator Studio. This is something that you want me to talk more about in an upcoming video. Just let me know below. And as far as that goes, any questions you have around Facebook or building a business and brand online, leave it below in the comments. Let me know what you would like to see. This is something, again, that just popped up. They now have a Creator Studio app as well. You can manage your content, view insights, and engage with your audience across your Facebook pages. And this is something that literally just popped up just a second ago. I have not seen this previously. I'm just gonna exit out. And over here, you can see these are your insights just for the last seven days. You can also post something right here. You can upload videos, you can go live. You can do that all inside of the Creator Studio. And over here on the left-hand side, if you click on Insight, and you'll see right here, this is just the last seven days. If you want to do custom, or if you wanna look at the last 14 days, 28 days, this month, quarter, you know, you've got these different little presets right here, and then you can just click Update. I'm just gonna keep it right here on the last seven days. You can also view by this, whether it's posted, cross-posted videos from other pages that you cross-posted to this one, or shared, which are videos from other pages that you shared. You can also kind of filter by that as well. But this is gonna give you just a quick little snapshot of minutes viewed, how many you know one minute video views. And I really don't upload videos as much to Facebook business pages. Sometimes I'll take a short snippet of the YouTube video that I put up and I'll put it over there and then drive traffic over you know to my YouTube channel here. So, but this is, this is really cool. And it tells you as far as your engagement, this green right here is whether you are, whether it's increasing or decreasing. So you could see even with followers. And again, I don't really promote a ton over here on my business page, but 46, that's 188% increase from the previous seven days. So that's super cool as well. And it's also going to tell you over here, if you do run Facebook ads, uh, whether it's organic or paid, where these views are coming from. And then of course, if you scroll down, it's gonna tell you your top videos and you can toggle right here. This is because the, I'm, you know, manage several different pages. So I'm just gonna to toggle off all of these different ones. Some of these, I don't even know how I'm a page admin for, but, and then I'm just gonna click view. That way it's just going to show me the insights and performance of just what's on Sherry Brown Coaching, like that business page. So you just wanna make sure too that you have that toggled. If you have more than one or you're an admin of more than one page. And then if you scroll down, of course, it's gonna tell you your top videos, minutes viewed, 
um, engagement, all of that. So that's the performance. But you can click over here, loyalty, and this is super awesome. So it tells you grow and support a community of viewers who come back and watch your videos, keep track of when you gain new followers, how often they're watching, and when people are returning to watch most often. And again, you can toggle this. It's just automatically defaulting on mine to the past seven days. So it's gonna tell you, and then returning viewers. So there are, again, a lot of analytics that you can actually look at. When it comes to audience, you can see, and right now, again, because I'm not uploading and posting as much over here, I'm not gonna see the analytics versus somebody who is primarily using a Facebook business page but you can see age and gender. It, uh, it'll give you the country, language, interests, all of this information, tell you the age. You can toggle by age, gender, location, language, all of that. And then if you click on retention, you're gonna see this right here, where your views are coming from, recommendations. And if you hover over anything right here, it's gonna let you know what it's talking about, okay? So recommendations, these are people Facebook suggested the video to who aren't following your page. So I think that's pretty cool, especially considering like Facebook isn't really a search engine. And so it's interesting to me to know that 88% of my views are coming from people who don't even follow my page. That's an interesting insight. And then average time people spent watching. And again, you've got all of these analytics. I'm not going to go into all of them. I just wanted to kind of give you a snapshot. And then earnings, which we're going to get to here in just a second. As far as if you are monetizing your content, this is where that would show up. So I'm just going to go down here to the monetization. And again, I think it's really awesome that Facebook is, I think, kind of taken after YouTube in a sense in regards to before, you know, when I was uploading and doing weekly videos over here on YouTube, there was really no way for creators to be able to monetize their content. And that's one really cool thing that I liked about YouTube is that you've got, you know, the YouTube monetization process and you can, you know, there's different ways that creators can make money through YouTube AdSense and other things like that. So Facebook seems to be a little bit like kind of following suit now. And I want to talk about a few of the different ways and the requirements requirements, recommendations. Again, I'm going to leave some additional links down below that you can research further if uh, this is something that you want to actually do or look into a little more. I'll link some, uh, some more information down below. But uh, you can see right here, content creators and publishers can use a variety of different monetization tools to earn money on Facebook. And there are eligibility requirements, okay? So page eligibility, you need to meet eligibility criteria to use monetization tools. And some tools might have additional requirement, review which pages are eligible and apply for access. So you can see right here, just a glimpse, like I, it says that my page right now is ineligible for monetization. Although I do have the followers and it kind of tells you where you are, you only have to have a minimum of 1,000 people or 1,000 followers on your business page. I definitely, I think we're about to cross 10,000 over on my Sherry Brown Coaching business page. So I've got that, but there's also some engaging, some engagement requirements, which is very interesting because that is not something that YouTube requires like it has nothing to do well I mean it does in a sense of in order to get monetized on YouTube you have to have 4,000 hours of watch time in in a 12-month rolling period so you can see right here as far as engagement goes in the last 60 days you need 15,000 post engagements and of course I could click learn more to dive more into that you also have to you need 180,000 minutes viewed between all of your videos and you need 30,000 one minute views on videos they're at least three minutes long so you know that is definitely in order to get monetized for these different things, you definitely have to be using a Facebook business page consistently and video seems to be a big part of that process. And lastly, you have to meet policy guidelines, which I have. I don't really know what those policies are, but of course you can click right here and it'll take you to that. Now, a few ways that you can earn money scrolling down. The first one is in-stream ads, okay? So as you can see, that tells you who it's best for, videos at least three minutes long, content suitable for ads, and the eligibility requirement. So again, 10,000 followers and 30,000 one minute views for three minute plus videos, okay? So those are the eligibility requirements to start making money 
from in-stream ads, which if you notice a lot of the times like on YouTube, there will be an ad that played like at the beginning of a video. Those are different like in-stream ads. And so again, Facebook seems to be following suit when it comes to being able to run other people's ads on your content and make money. And of course, you can click learn more. Um, there's also brand collabs manager, so you can earn money from paid partnerships. And again, it's going to tell you who it's best for and the eligibility requirements. You can log into your own Creator Studio as well if you want to dive in. And this is something, there's two more ways that you can make money. One of them is on here and the other one, you're not going to see it on here, but I'm going to tell you about it. So the first is like this says through fan subscriptions. So much like Again, this is something that YouTube has had where you can create a membership and there's eligibility requirements over there as well. But on Facebook, you can create a subscription for your page and earn a monthly income. You can choose a monthly price, offer exclusive benefits, and grow the community of people who subscribe to support you. So again, this is saying who it's best for, creators and brands with a large active following and creators and brands with additional value to offer to supporters. And then as far as the eligibility, when it comes to being able to do the subscriptions and you can in essence become a supporter of that page it's invite only now i have yet to actually see browsing around over on facebook what it takes to become eligible for the subscription i will link this article below and you can dive in as much as you want so if you are invited you could do extra you know content you can create posts specifically like just for those who are supporters of your page there's lots of extra stuff that you can do just for them so again super cool little way to make a little extra money now the fourth way that Facebook is now allowing creators to monetize is through their stars program. So I'm just going to pull up right here, Adventure Social, because I know they are someone who is participating in the stars program. So how you know whether or not a Facebook page has this capability is when you look, when you go to write a comment, you're going to see over here on the right hand side where you can attach stars. Okay. So what stars are is basically it says you can support your favorite live game streamers and original video creators by buying and sending them stars through a live video or video on demand through Facebook. So if I go back and I click on attach stars, this is going to allow you, it says you can, your comment and attach stars will be displayed to the creator and others who watch the video. You have to buy stars so you can buy them in little bundles. And if you click buy stars, it's going to tell you how much stars are okay so like you can get a hundred stars for a dollar forty not a ton it's not a ton of money but it's just one way not only your audience can support you but then you can in turn turn around and support other pages that you like to follow now here's what's a little bit confusing about the stars program so if you are someone who you have a Facebook business page and you're wanting to participate in this program it says right here before you begin to start receiving stars you need to join level up okay so if we look back it says that stars are for live game streamers and original video creators when we look over here it says to start receiving them you need to join level up but when you click on level up it says right here that in order to join the level up program that you can well it says level up is a program you can join to unlock features and monetize your gaming stream on facebook and when you scroll down when you scroll down it says how to join you create a gaming video creator page or convert an existing page into a gaming video creator page and you have to grow it to 100 followers and then stream game content so this is what's a little bit confusing here because again it says it's also for original video creators but one of the requirements is that you have to turn your channel into a gaming video creator page so i'm a little bit confused on that have to do a little bit more digging but i'm curious if you have noticed anybody else or any other pages using the stars program participating in it or the supporter like is anybody else that you know do they offer fan subscription is this something you know is are these features the different ways to monetize which ones are you like 
liking. If you've gotten some value from today's video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, subscribe and hit the bell. And also share it with a friend if you've got another buddy using Facebook who you think this video would benefit them. Be sure to share it out. And while you wait on the next video, be sure to check out these other two playlists. One, again, is all about Facebook stories and the other is social media marketing. So I have a lot of different content regarding Facebook in general. With that being said, I hope you have the most productive day and the most productive week. And I'll see you back here in the next one. Bye for now.